Space Shuttle and Falcon 9 launches, and the more they do it, the less plausible their excuses become. Recently, SpaceX's improved heat shield became the latest excuse for the agency's delays. As for Falcon 9, despite the success of Crew 9, it is still facing unnecessary delays. It's frustrating. Let's dive into the details of today's NR Studio episode. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss interesting news every day. Let's start the discussion. The FAA's recent delay of Starship Flight 5 has sparked heated debate in the aerospace industry. The agency has consistently cited safety as the primary reason for its actions. Specifically, the delays are due to SpaceX's frequent changes to the Starship mission, which the FAA says require a new license. For Flight 5, the primary concern is the unprecedented task of catching the super-heavy booster with the Zilla Armica. While discussions on these points continue, the FAA recently made another surprising argument regarding the Starship S-30 heat shield. The agency said the FAA requires a permit amendment if the operator proposes a significant public safety change. A significant public safety change is one that changes or impacts any of the following. The payload class, type of launcher or re-entry vehicle, type or quantity of hazardous materials, flight path, departure or return location, or other landing location, or any critical safety system, policy, procedure, requirement, criteria, or standard. A more detailed note on Starship said a proposal to return a booster to a launch site if the FAA has not first evaluated and cleared it for a previous flight constitutes a significant public safety change. A change to the vehicle's thermal protection system could be a significant change if the TPS is a safety critical system or component that could impact public safety. These concerns about the heat shield, frankly, seem far-fetched. The FAA may have gotten away with this because of the modifications SpaceX made to the S-30 heat shield after the issues seen on the S-29. SpaceX has since replaced the entire heat shield, and Elon Musk has revealed that the new version will be twice as strong. However, SpaceX has not provided details about how the plates were repaired, which is understandable, considering that this is part of its own development process. Unfortunately, the FAA is using this lack of disclosure to cite public safety concerns. This argument is patently unconvincing for several reasons. First, SpaceX is making these repairs because the previous heat shield had a problem, which resulted in the Starship's front cover burning off during re-entry. Although the vehicle successfully landed in the ocean, the goal was to achieve an intact landing, which required the repair. The idea that SpaceX should have reported this to the FAA or continued to use the problematic heat shield seems far-fetched. Second, despite the modifications to the heat shield, the Starship's re-entry procedures remain consistent with previous flights. This makes the FAA's concerns somewhat contradictory, especially considering their previous arguments about the Super Heavy mission. If general flight and re-entry procedures remain unchanged, it's hard to see how an expanded heat shield poses any new risks. Furthermore, SpaceX carefully plans and executes every flight and landing with extensive advance notice of the area Starship flies over. Most of these areas are uninhabited, minimizing the potential threat to public safety. Therefore, the idea that an expanded heat shield could cause damage seems unfounded, further weakening the FAA's argument. The FAMA's rationale seems increasingly ineffective and sometimes inconsistent. In a recent hearing, FARA Administrator Mike Whitaker attempted to justify the agency's decision, but his answers left many skeptical. He attempted to explain the reasoning for the delay, and his suggestion that SpaceX follow Boeing's safety practices was met with skepticism, especially given Boeing's well-documented safety issues. Elon Musk responded by saying he should resign in response to the comments. In addition to the heat shielding issue, the issue also sets a worrying precedent for future delays. The FAA's focus on this specific change could pave the way for further delays in the future. Another part of Starship that could be sinking is the Raptor engines, which have drawn attention after several were recovered from the Gulf of Mexico following a recent test flight. Raptor engines found that several of these engines appeared deformed, possibly due to flight impacts. The Raptor engines will be critical to SpaceX's next big task, which is to capture the Super Heavy booster with the Mechazilla R. However, the FAA has expressed concerns about the complex mission 
and issues with the recovered engines could provide even more reason to delay progress. If this continues, it could disrupt SpaceX's schedule, impacting key milestones like NASA's Artemis program and its return to the moon. The FAA's cautious approach while prioritizing safety risks slowing down U.S. leadership in space exploration, especially as countries like China make rapid progress. A better regulatory balance is needed to maintain America's competitive edge. At this point, SpaceX's most pragmatic approach is to focus on improving its hardware and launch systems while anticipating broader regulatory changes that could ultimately improve operations. The company has been testing its resilience, but continued delays from regulators like the FAA continue to hamper its progress. What do you think about the FAA's heat shield issues? Is it time to end these ongoing delays? If you agree, say yes in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's continued journey towards spaceflight innovation. Regulatory delays aren't unique to Starship. As expected, the Falcon 9 has faced similar obstacles, adding to the frustration. The latest Crew-9 mission was a resounding success. Dragon safely carried two astronauts to the ISS, but complications arose with the Falcon 9's second stage, which landed outside of the designated area. Although the craft landed safely in a remote area of the South Pacific, far from any populated areas, the FAA is still investigating. The FAA's latest statement sheds light on the issue. The FAA is aware of an anomaly during the SpaceX NASA Crew-9 mission. The incident involved the Falcon 9's second stage landing outside of the designated danger zone. There were no reports of injuries or damage to public property. The FAA has requested an investigation. While the FAA has publicly acknowledged that there was no public injury or property damage, an official investigation is ongoing. This incident marks the third straight month of Falcon 9 mission delays due to FAA interference. While it is important to ensure safety and resolve recurring issues, SpaceX has taken proactive steps to resolve any anomalies, suspending its own operations after the latest incident. However, these investigations and delays have become insurmountable obstacles. If public safety was not at risk, it would make sense for operations to continue while the investigation was conducted in parallel. But with the FAA's overly restrictive approach, SpaceX has been forced to wait, resulting in significant delays in progress. The question remains, how long can this regulatory friction continue before it hampers not only SpaceX's innovation, but also broader progress in space exploration? Like the previous two delays, this one does not affect the mission's primary objective, payload deployment. After that, it's hard to understand why the FAA continues to step in and shut down operations. While it's unclear how long this delay will last, it will certainly impact upcoming programs. In early October, SpaceX is scheduled to launch a single web satellite on a Falcon 9 or the Europa Clipper mission on a Falcon Heavy. If these delays continue as they did in July, these important missions could be affected. In terms of overall progress, without FAA intervention, SpaceX could have completed 100 launches this year. However, the pace has slowed and the company has only managed 93 Falcon 9 flights since the Crew-9 mission. The goal of achieving 148 launches this year seems to be shrinking as the FAA continues to delay operations. There is hope that these delays can be overcome, especially for NASA. At this point, we can consider the case of Boeing Starliner. Despite several issues during testing, launch, docking with the ISS and return, the FAA has not stopped Starliner's progress. SpaceX is scheduled to conduct an ISS resupply mission in October, and continued delays could disrupt critical operations. NASA must protect its launch provider to maintain America's spaceflight goals and leadership, making reforms critical to the future of the space program. For at least the next few years, Falcon 9 will remain NASA's primary vehicle for spaceflight activities, especially given the current challenges associated with Starliner. With Starship's mission to return humans to the moon less than two years away, frequent launches are essential to establishing credibility. FAA delays risk allowing China to reach and potentially surpass the U.S. The FAA's unnecessary delays should not be a reason for the U.S. to lose its leadership in the space race. We have always had the advantage of having unmatched experience. The key to staying ahead is to remove the barriers that hold us back. 
I think many organizations and individuals are realizing this and are taking action. Reform or be eliminated, it may be time for the FAA to make a choice. All right, folks, that's it for today's episode. See you in the next episode.